welcome back everybody to this mission in progress. So, when we left off, we had come pretty much halfway through here. I think this is the last room, so we can expect to see the outsider in there. And I'm sure there's at least one muton and probably a couple of fin men still around. So we need to tread a little carefully, because we're running a little low on high ordnance. Let's get this door open. There we go. Oh god, no. Oh no. Oh, that's not good. Now there are Seekers. Two Seekers. Great. Okay, well, that means that we need to put people on Overwatch here. With full clips, ideally. Because those guys will not be far from us. And, oh god, they'll... I wonder if they'll go after Ramirez. Ooh. That is a problem, isn't it? Well, Adam still has a rocket. Actually, Adam still has... Is it? No, Bauer used the rocket. No, Adam, Adam used the rocket. Bauer hasn't used the rocket. Jeez, my memory. Uh, see, Ramirez right now has a stun, but he also has one health, which means that those guys can kill him if they glance in his direction. As long as those Seekers on the field, I am not sending you home. We should hopefully be able to deal with them quickly. Any time now. <laughs> they did nothing, okay. Everyone to Overwatch again. Thing about Seekers is it's like there's like one thing that can really find them, and that's the battle scanner, which is an otherwise useless really function of the sniper class, so no one ever really takes it. Um, oh, there we go, there's one. One down? <laughs> Jeez! Talk about overkill. Some people didn't even have the opportunity to shoot there. Okay, well that's every single, like, overwatch we had set. Where's the other one? Is he gonna make an appearance? No, okay. So you're good to shoot again. You're good to shoot again. You're good to shoot again. I don't even know how much ammunition you used there. That was very low. As soon as we've gotten rid of the Seekers, Ramirez is going right back to the evac zone. Where hopefully, no aliens will ever bother him again. Okay. But for the moment, he's sticking with us, because I can't see where the Seekers are, and they'll kill him if they blink. Oh god, I wish I'd given- I wish I'd brought along a, a med pack now. Ooh dear. There he is! Murder! Murder! Grim bloody murder! Down. Okay. Look at that! 17 damage. Well, 16 and 17, one or two. Huh, okay. Ramirez! Twitch, get your butt back to the trip, please. In fact, where is the ship? Oh. I think it's way over here. We'll move you slowly. Mostly. Slowly. an overwatch in case somebody tries to do a wobbly on you. Uh, okay. Let's get Adams over here. I'm trying to remember exactly how much health it is that the uh, the outsiders have. The trouble is I think it's a bit too much for a stun. Or at least a little too much to expect a stun to work first time. Okay, prototype. Over here, please. Because we only have the one shot at this. If it doesn't work, then we cannot go home with our mission intact. Fortunately, pretty much everybody on this front line 
still has the vast majority of their health. But that's why you didn't lose ammo, because you weren't using your sniper rifle. Yeah. Nobody moved, apparently. Okay, Bauer. Knock, knock. Anybody home? Okay, two of them. And they both have free health. Okay. Well, we only have the one stun attempt anyways, so I'm going to waste one. Let's say I'm going to kill one of these guys. Ooh, end of the ocean. I know! I kind of have issues right now with that notion. Okay, he is compromised. We have a 70% chance to hit. They get a good one. Yes! Got it. Nobody lost. Oh, good. And that was our last episode. There wasn't a single mutant left. Good. Still lost a melt, but good times. Ha! Who? E. I don't know when the last episode cuts out because I haven't edited it yet. But um, yeah. Woo! That got a bit stressful. And we know finally story progression. Is that all that's left of the specimen we attempted to capture? Yes. I believe we may have found the source of the strange readings we picked up when we first encountered it. What is it, Doctor? We're not exactly sure. It's organic in nature, yet highly magnetized, and it appears to resonate very faintly within a specific electromagnetic spectrum. It is currently unclear how or... Perhaps that's because this is outside your field of expertise, Doctor. If what you're saying is true, this object is an antenna. One that's receiving a signal. That signal? Can we trace it? It's totally a crystal no. gem. At least not yet. We would first need to determine its encryption algorithm. My team can handle that. In that case, I will focus on constructing an interface between this object and our global communications array. Does that sound to smart? Trace the signal. E. Then it looks like researching this crystal should be our top priority. Yes and no. Okay, so Bauer, prototype, got an upgrade here. Uh, which means they're following. They're still following the ranks of uh, Adams here. So that means that they get a rapid reaction. Confers a second reaction shot if on Overwatch and the first reaction shot hits. There we go. Uh, and Johansson has also earned something, so let's take a look here. Uh, okay, so we've got Disabling Shot, Battle Scanner, the device I just mentioned that nobody ever takes. Let's go with Disabling Shot. I mean, look at that. Can only be used two times for battle, creates a new source of vision for two turns. Not really sufficient to call it useful. Gravely Wounded, 12 days. Ramirez is going to be out for two weeks. Well, he can he can live stream from his, uh, from his, from his room there, from his, like, hospital bed. <sighs> Jeez. All of that loot. UFO power sources, we've got two. Fork flight computers. Muton. Muton corpse, muton captive, berserker captive. Oh. And we picked up a, heart, a plasma rifle and a light plasma rifle, so that should come in handy. Okay, research. One day on the plasma rifle. Let's spin it ahead. Yep, I know you have. Let me get into the thing. Okay. Okay. Yay! Carry on. Hey! Great, carry on. I'm trying to get the damn plasma rifle here. There we go. What we got? Uh, I can now manufacture. Hurrah! Which also gives access to these, if we had a ton more weapon fragments. 40 more. Ugh. But we can now get plasma sniper rifles, we can now research plasma pistols, we can research heavy plasma, and the alloy cannon. Ha! But let's uh, interrogate the berserker, because 
that could be useful to us in that endeavor. Ooh, I'm angry. Ooh. Ooh, look at me. I'm big and fat and I'm angry. Ooh, screw your stuff. Ooh, do, 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 do. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Also, let's visit the Grey Market because there's going to be a ton of stuff down here that we don't need. So, no research benefits. No research benefit on the alien surgery. And none on the stasis tanks. Everything else I'm just going to leave. 222 alloy! Jeez, I should be making so much more carapace armor. Um, but we don't have the weapon fragments. Which is what we really need. Because we were stunning people rather than killing them. Oh. Okay. Nice. Nice. And... Do we have room for more satellites? Yes. Good. Let's send one to... Ooh, Australia's not looking good. Let's go to Canada. Send one to Jolly Canada, Johansson. Then that's, um... That's Ramirez's place, actually, so yeah, that'll be good. Ha. So one more. And we get to Mexico. Also, we now have two blips on our doom clock, which is not great. But... Mm. Have to deal, I'm afraid. Indian Brazil, why? Why? I think the next two go to Mexico and Australia. Which should be available in just over a week. Let's interrogate this berserker. Okay, what we get? Armor technology research credit, yay! The captive was even more violent and aggressive than we expected, exceeding the previous limits established by the floater and muton species. Despite heavy sedation, it was virtually impossible to control the subject, leaving us with little recourse other than to increase the vigor of our tactics. After probing several regions of the captive's brain, we managed to find the appropriate stimulus to calm the beast, after which we put the captive for a number of controlled physical tests. Basically, we lobotomized him, I think is what they're saying. Oh dear. And now there's a berserker autopsy as well. The men are calling this beast the berserker, although it shares the same structure as the muton, for reasons yet unknown to us, the Berserker seems to be consumed by bloodlust with little regard for its own safety. Okay, and that comes out in a day as well. So let's spin it. Combat stims and neural damping available. Yay! Uh, this particular specimen is different. Very useful, Balan, very useful. Codename Anaconda. Our troops have taken to calling this beast the Berserker based on its uncharacteristically aggressive tactics in the field. Despite sharing the same physiological structure of the other mutants, for reasons yet unknown to us, yada yada yada, uh, current causes, current theory as theories as to the cause of this behavior have led us to begin investigating possible genetic manipulation of the subject's endocrine glands, or in this case, the equivalent glands that appear to secrete androgenic hormones. Hey hey, combat stims. Uh, provide temporary boost to several of our soul's vital statistics. And neural damping. Yay. Ha. Right. So, we could really do with more armor, is the thing. And we have a ton of alloys, so there really isn't much reason for us to not. Let's go with the skeleton suit. And meanwhile in engineering, in the foundry, stealth satellites are available as an option here. Sentinel drone shaped armor, servo motors, mech close combat, jellied Illyrium. That is going to come in handy down the line. But, uh, uh, for now there isn't much for us to worry about here. So let's just leave that alone for a moment. And in the officer training school, let's pick up rapid recovery. And iron will, because both of those things are useful from the last, me from the last mission. Denise Powell apparently has an upgrade. Oh, Corporal? One of our heavies. Okay. Oh yes, you you got an upgrade. I forgot about that. Okay, Powell. Um I don't have a build for you, Powell. Any in, in interestingly enough. That must have actually been your first time out. Huh. Okay, well. In that case, I'm gonna put you into the same league as Gao and take Bullet Swarm first. So you are one of our anti tank heavies. And uh, let's give you the colors for that. 
So where is a nice red? There we are, 20. Okay. Uh, whew, uh, Helena is still out for about a week. Ramirez is still out for 10 days. Oh dear, oh dear indeed. But uh, we got one colonel, which is Hex, and colonels are the best people for upgrading into mechs, because mechs gain experience slower than other classes. Um, gonna wait for Gao to get there first, and then we'll see what happens. Anyway, let's spin the wheel. Yay! Scout suit now available. Hurrah, hurrah. Uh, next on the list then is the Titan armor, which is the top tier heavy armor. And if we go to... Uh, no, we don't want the foundry, we want build by items. So, we now have skeleton suit. Uh, it has, I believe, the same... Kind of, like It's slightly more expensive than carapace armor. Uses less alloys, though. And has, I think, the same... Uh, let's see, 144, yes I can, yes I can, go, let's get those. Uh, has the same armor as the standard carapace, so let's uh, use as a comparison Diaz here. User disconnected from your channel. I've been doing this like an hour and suddenly that pops up. Anyways, so let's do it with Arcade, so with the carapace armor, he has a grand total of plus 4 there, with that it's a plus 3. But his defense is plus 10, so looks pretty good. Medium armor, and includes a grapple on my arm. Provides a small bonus to defense, whereas movement speed is increased. Compared to the carapace armor, adds substantial health, but no other special properties. Medium armor. So it adds one less health, but an extra 10 defense. So... On the whole, I think that's a, that's a significant upgrade. Uh, I'm just going to put you in the car back in the carapace armor for now, though. So the next time our guys go out, they are going out in skeleton suits. Pretty much across the board. Once we have the Titan armor researched, though, that's what our heavies will be going out in. Whoop, exalt operation. Damn! Drained 50 from our cash reserves. Go ahead, I've got plenty. Okay, go to situation room. Where are we? Covert operation in India. Oh. Attempt to raid on the Exalt HQ? What? Have we pinpointed it? We can't have. There's no Exalt HQ there. That we know of, anyways. Covert operation. So, we're not sending Nichols. We're sending Diaz. And we don't have the plasma pistol yet because of requiring the research, but we do have one in our log. Uh... Unfortunately, there isn't really much that I can give Diaz otherwise, but uh, I am going to give you a med kit because you only have eight health right now. So, hope you enjoy it. It's going to be a fun trip for you. Send operative. Things are definitely picking up out there. We'll have to monitor our available and that's in India, one of the places that just left. Ugh. Attempt raid on Exalt HQ. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. For now, I think we're going to call it an episode, and I'll see you all 